This is one of those issues that, that crosses left and right. We have people on the left who are telling us about it, people on the right who are telling us about it. They're all saying the same thing. This isn't American. This isn't proper. This is improper use of abuse of a power uh, to intimidate someone. It, it, it's, it's a uniting issue, and, and there are darn few of those in our society these days. Regular 11th Hour viewers will remember our coverage of the Marion County Record, the Kansas newspaper whose offices were raided by police back in August and then put out their weekly issue anyway. Well, a month and a half after those raids and after the warrant was withdrawn, the Marion mayor suspended police chief Gideon Cody and now Cody has officially resigned. Back with us tonight, one of my all-time favorite guests, Eric Meyer, the co-owner, publisher, and editor of the Marion County Record. Eric, I'm so glad you're back. Um, it has been about six weeks since you were here with us. What should we know about the situation? Well, it's like a lot of scandals. The longer you go, the more messages, texts, videos, other things start coming out. People start talking that hadn't talked before. It's it's getting to be a much clearer picture of what's going on. Uh, either the chief was perhaps the most incompetent chief that anyone could ever imagine, or there was some malicious intent behind this. Uh, he just today filed a defense against a lawsuit filed by the reporter whose, uh, whose computer is being taken away in the picture that's on the screen right now. Uh, he also seized her personal cell phone, and his response was, well, I just told everybody about this, and, you know, they... They didn't tell me it was a bad idea to search this. And, and and then they told me later that they hadn't even read what I sent them. And so, you know, what am I supposed to do? So what do you uh, think? It's deviance or incompetence? I, I think it's actually both. I, I think there's a little bit of both in, going on in this. And there's a lot of different players, all of whom had different objectives in what they were looking for. Uh, our story that we're trying, we were breaking this this day in our paper is uh, some suspicions being raised about a politician locally who seemed to know a little bit too much and talked a little bit too soon to the supposed victim of uh, the quote unquote identity theft that wasn't uh, and tried to implicate us in that, even though there was absolutely no reason to, even for him to know that we had received the document that we had received. So we think there's some leaks going out that we're trying to see that, uh, oh, we've got this newspaper and this politician, because the vice mayor was also involved in this, uh, who we can really squash right now if we want to, and let's go out and do it. Uh, and it, it was, it's obvious from the overkill that they went to. I mean, the, the the thing that just sticks in my mind is seven police officers to raid the home of a 98-year-old woman. You know, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh, they didn't need that many. They used two when they were raiding the home of somebody who had raped his five-year-old granddaughter. Uh, I think that's a little more dangerous and serious of a crime than than stealing somebody's record that says they aren't driving legally. And we didn't even do that. That wasn't a crime. Uh, to date, no law enforcement officer has ever spoken to me about this case. So the investigation, as thorough as it was, and they, they accused me of being involved in it, they've never even spoken to me other than to hand me a search warrant and take stuff away from me. You mentioned your mom, Joanne. And again, I want to offer my condolences because and remind our audience, it was just 24 hours after that raid, she passed away. She was a longtime publisher of the paper. Um, she was so passionate about her work, about the paper. What do you think she would say now after everything you and your staff have done since the raid, getting the paper out, reporting on what happened to you, what is she? What, she's so, looking down from heaven. What is she thinking? First thing she'd say is get some sleep and eat better. Uh, <laughs> she's a mom after all. Uh, but uh, I, I think she would. I think she would say that that you know when you're 98, you don't have a lot of contribution to make to the world anymore. You're you're going to go out and you would like to control how you go out, but you're going to go out quietly. Uh, she didn't go out uh, quietly. Uh, she, it was very unpleasant for her, 
But I think if she could look down and say, see what's happened since then, she'd say, gee, this was great. At 98, I still managed to contribute something to the discussion of freedom of the press and democracy and the First Amendment and everything else. Uh, I think she'd be proud of that. And I think she'd be proud of what we've done. And she'd be madder than I don't know what at some of the people that we've been reporting about. The answer, my friend, is madder than hell. Eric Meyer, Absolutely. congratulations on all that you have done. I want to hear that the subscriptions are going up and up and up the next time I see you because with your kick-ass paper, still are. that is they awesome. Still are. You deserve it. Great to see you.